Well, BlizzCon day one, day two for the Smoking Gamers coverage, but day one for the actual event itself is uh, is over, more or less. The contests have ended. It's now nine o'clock in the uh, in the afternoon, or I guess night now. Um, oh my God! So much stuff has come out today. So much stuff has been talked about today. So much stuff has been announced today. I don't even know where to start. But here's what I'll let you know. Heroes of the Storm is probably the greatest thing the Blizzard has ever thought of in its entirety. All right, no, not Warcraft Three, which formerly was the greatest thing Blizzard. I, uh, me and Howitzer played this morning. It was the first thing we did when we got to the convention. Fuck going to Hall D for the opening ceremony. Nope, we went in there. We were late, by the way. We we had the alarm set for seven. It didn't go off until never actually because while I set the alarm correctly. Apparently the clock was flipped, so whenever we came in here, it was, you know, 9 o'clock p.m., and so I set it for 7 p.m., which would have been 24, but that's, that's beyond the point. The point is this, guys. Heroes of the Storm, I've never been so excited for a game in my life, and it's not even that big of a game, right? Like, it's not even something that Blizzard has spent, you know, countless hours of, you know, character development, and the characters are already there. Most of the elements are already there, but it's so... Good. It's who'd you, so who'd you good. play as? I played as Illidan Storm Rage. Oh, of course. go figure. How convenient for you. Yeah. Um, but we'll talk a little bit more about that whenever I get back. Yeah. You know, home side, and we can kind of get together and talk about Heroes of the Storm. Um, it was fantastic. But also, War Warlords of Draenor was announced as the next expansion for World of Warcraft. Nothing new. I think we covered actually quite a bit of. What was going to happen when we did our But Wait, There's Lore right before BlizzCon? We talked a little bit about this, and I think we pretty much had a handle on We nailed on it. We called the Bronze Trader. We yeah. called what was happening. Yeah. The biggest thing is to remind, because and Blizzard was pumping this into everyone at this convention. We are not going back in time. Time is coming forward to us. Uh, they said this is not a time travel uh, expansion, but it is a time travel expansion because we're going back into the past, but we're not going to the past. The past is coming to us due to uh, Karaz. Spoilers alert, by the way. Karaz is, in fact, the bronze dragon that Garrosh goes to and does all that stuff. That's the guy that's been hanging out with Rathian a lot. What does that mean? They did say something about boss behind the boss, calling it right now. It's Rathian, and this is all a ploy for him to get the Burning Legion to attack Azeroth again, but I'll go into that a little bit later. I'm going to actually try and find Chris Metzen, and I'm going to say this to his face, and I'm going to record it, and I'm going to get his reaction. He's not going to admit to it, but his reaction will be very telling, I think. So, if I find Chris, uh, and I should, I always do, um, if I find Chris at some point in this convention, Howie may have to remind me, because I'll be drunk off my ass. I haven't drank anything yet while I've been here at BlizzCon, but that's going to change here in about 20 minutes. Um, but... Warlords of Draenor is going to come out, and uh, I'm, I'm kind of, ex like, when I first heard about it, I was like, eh, I don't know, but then, like, as I kind of soak it all in, soak in what's happening, the fact that Durotan's going to be back, the fact that uh, Killrock Deadeye is going to be there, the fact that Grom Hellscream, my favorite orc, is going to be in the game uh, as a character, and these are not, like, these are people that are going to be reacting to how the world is today, in the character set that they had back when they were in the games originally, back in Warcraft 2, War, even Warcraft 1, really, uh, and Warcraft 3 with Grom. So, I'm just, I'm really excited about it. Uh, not much StarCraft news came out, but, um, I mean, they're going to give that more time to work on Legacy of the Void, of course. And uh, also, uh, Hearthstone didn't really, I didn't really, we got new cards, uh, they're doing Hero, or Elite uh, Golden, Torn yeah, yeah, the Torn Chieftain card, they're doing Hero, I don't hero, get the Golden Heroic golden, things, uh, yeah. No, it's Golden uh, heroes, heroes, yeah. Or something that's coming along the way. Uh, nothing really exciting coming out from that. Diablo 3, we have, just haven't watched any Diablo 3 panels yet, uh, we've been focused on WoW and Heroes of the Storm, uh, but uh, we will be watching those on the virtual ticket that we have uh, when we get home. Uh, it'll give us something to do for the next week, for sure. But um, I hope you guys are enjoying the coverage and whatnot that uh, Dunn, Snapple Monkey, Necroxus, Tyranor, Janelle are all working on the uh, on stateside. I keep saying stateside. I don't really. It's not like we're in Europe or anything, but um, home side, I guess. Uh, but uh, that's my thoughts on uh, the end of, or what happened in the convention of, of day one. Uh, we're going to flip the camera now. Pass the camera. Pass the camera over here. Howie. Hello, camera. Hello, Internet. Uh, yeah, Heroes of the Storm. Cinematic for that? <laughs> Blew my mind. 
That was an amazing it was. cinematic. It just came out of nowhere. I didn't even think they'd have a cinematic for it. Hearthstone. I'm into Hearthstone, and I was thinking all day, what is that card? What is that card? Elite Torn Chieftain. At first I was like, eh, and then they showed when it goes into the arena, and it's just like, pfft, lights and ETC at the top. I was just thinking, okay, maybe I'll just play it just because I want to see that, like, twice, then I'll get over it. Uh, Warlords of Draenor. I was on the fence the entire time, this whole time going up to him, like, is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? I don't want to go back in time, but I do want to see Draenor. The idea of Draenor to me, I was like, I have to see it, but I don't want to go back in time. So they got me on both ends. We're going to see Draenor, and I'm not going back in time. Time is coming to me. That's how it should be done. I don't want to go anywhere. It comes to me now, because we're, like, 90. Also, Garrisons. That looked awesome. I want my own home. I'm going to have, like, Gnome Plansky and all these people working for me, doing raids and stuff like that. So, also as a raider, flex rating for everything. No more 10 and 25, just flex. Sounds perfect for people like me. Um, other than Speaking that, of which, we have an announcement to make. Yeah, and then, I don't actually know, I, mean, I don't know what it is, but I'm sure you'll tell me in just I a do. second. I do, I do know yeah, what it is. <laughs> uh, Diablo 3, uh, looking forward to that, I'm going to do a lot more on that tomorrow, I'm going to go play the PlayStation 4 version of it, I'm going to try and learn more about it, probably watch some virtual take it if I'm not too drunk tonight to <laughs> understand it, and I don't forget, oh, here's the storm, of course, I'm forgetting here's the storm. I was like, okay, we're going to go there sometime else. As soon as we walked in, we saw it being played by a couple people. We saw the line was short because everyone was just getting there, and they were focused on the opening ceremony. And me and Pride, we just teamed up with three random people in front of us. Killed the other team. Oh, yeah, we carried that game killed so it. hard. Oh, my God. No, I went as Nova, he went as Illidan. We were in our own lane together, you know, buddy-buddy system fighting Arthas and um, Nova. Nova, Nova. Yeah. Killed that lane. Unbelievable. So smooth. We were looking for the shop for like five minutes, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> um, but could not be happier with the game. That is honestly, right now, Warlords of Draenor and Heroes of the Storm. Highlight, I can't wait to play more, but I'm going to play Warlords of Draenor tomorrow. So overall, I just, first BlizzCon for me, going really great. Yeah. So we're going to flip this back over. Okay. Flip the camera. And then we're going we're gonna to announce a little something something. I don't think I knew about this. There was a, an announcement made during the Warlords of Draenor. Uh, actually, I mean, it's, it's in the opening ceremony, it's in the cinematic, but the level 90 boost. Oh, right? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm connecting dots now. You are? Yeah. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we've, we've tried several times to do this, and it never really works because, you know, server transfers and all that stuff, but uh, I think we are definitely going to have to have ourselves a, uh, a true smoking gamer guild. Um, not only and a true smoking gamer guild, but one that actually uh, we, it's literally going to be the first time that all of us that work for the smoking gamer can come together um, and do things that we want to do uh, on one server. We get a free level ninety character. That means I mean we can recreate what we had. We can re create something different. Like I can become, you know, a warrior or a rogue instead of my paladin and my mage that I play all the time. So. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but basically the plan is that uh, we're going to hopefully get as many people together as we can. I mean, we're all getting free 90s, right? We might as well do something awesome with it. So why not have both uh, an actual guild that's going to run and raid? Uh, we do, all of us are raiders. Uh, well, all of us except for me are raiders, but it's something I've done before. I've, I've raided in, in uh, vanilla, and I raided in uh, TBC a little bit, but after that, I mean, it's just kind of, I'm too busy to uh, dedicate myself to a guild that I'm not, you know, don't really care about their progression, so. But this would be a different story, this would be my guild. But, uh, be the Smoking Gamer Guild. We'll, we'll figure it out. I mean, we're not gonna call it the Smoking Gamer Guild or anything like that, or TSG, Team TSG. Um, we'll come up with a really fancy title, we'll all get together, we'll have like votes with the fans and all that stuff, see if we're, it's something that we actually wanna do. But it's something that we have the possibility to do, and then we all can also level together. I mean, think about that. We can run through that content. Uh, we can we can talk. We can nerd out, geek out as a group about all this awesome lore and all this awesome story that's being expanded upon. Yes, we already know most of the story about these these guys and their backstory and whatnot, right? Uh, but we're getting new lore. We're getting new story. We're getting to expand on those some of those characters. We're gonna actually get to understand exactly how Duratan acted, like Chris Metzen said. But anyways, we're going to get into all of that later. We'll geek out together. It'll basically give everyone who wants to a chance to come on over and be a part of, uh, of the Smoking Gamer 
uh, as a whole, as a group, as a crew, uh, to go on and then, you know, casually raid together with Flex Raid, you know, that's great. That's fantastic. This, this is, I mean, it's all leading up. Everything about this expansion is leading up to just being able to do something epic with uh, all of you guys. And then, honestly, all this BlizzCon coverage that you're seeing right now is because of you guys, uh, plain and simple. Like, uh, we raised $1,000 to be able to come out here. And uh, trust me, our wallets, thank you. Um, I mean, we just dropped $400 on this hotel room for the next three days. We, uh, food out here is ridiculously expensive. It, what was it, like $20 for a slice of pizza? No, it was $9 for a slice of pizza. Yeah. Nine bucks for a slice of pizza. Drink not included. Just the pizza. Just one slice of pizza. 20 bucks. Or nine bucks. It's not even a big slice either. Yeah. Half a pizza was like 20 bucks. It's ridiculous. But anyways, guys. Um, I don't know. We're about to go play Jesse in Trivial Pursuit. And uh, it's going to be a ton of fun. What time are we on on that? 11 minutes and 2 seconds. God, BlizzCon Day 2 video is going to be huge. Yeah, it is. It's the video you're watching right now, by the way. All right.